Okay, so today we're going to go ahead and learn how to make a pyramid shape. I'm going to come up to create a 2D sketch, and rather than picking my traditional XY sketch or my front view, I'm going to draw this from the top view, which is going to be the uh, XZ plane. So I'll select the XZ plane, and normally in class I've been telling you it doesn't really matter where you draw your object once you create a 2D sketch. I'm going to change that for today. We're going to draw our object in a specific spot. Uh, on this uh, plane. So I'll select the rectangle function and I'm going to come down to where it would be x0, y0 and we're going to select that, draw our rectangle up and click OK. Good. I'm just going to make a 1 inch by 1 inch square as the base of my pyramid. So we'll go 1, 1, and we're good to go. I'm going to finish my sketch. Okay, so now I have my one inch by one inch base for my pyramid. Uh, and we're going to have to use the work plane function in order to make this pyramid. So I'm going to come over to the browser, select the origin folder, and I want to select my XZ plane. Remember to do this, I need to make it visible. So I'm going to right click the XZ plane and turn on visibility. Now that I have my plane visible, I'm going to go ahead and use the plane function. I'm going to drop down that box and I want to offset my plane so that I can draw the top portion of my pyramid. So we're going to select offset from plane and then select the plane that we want to offset, which would be the XZ plane. So I'll click on that and it's going to allow me to input a value, which is going to then bring this plane upwards towards the top. So I'm going to select a value of 1 inch, click OK, and as you can see now my work plane is 1 inch from the base of my pyramid, which is exactly what I want. All right, now what I want to do is to go ahead and make a new sketch on that plane. So I've got my new sketch, and I'm going to put in the point for the top of my pyramid. So we're going to come over to the uh, point function, which is right here, and I want to make sure that I put this point right in the middle or as close to the middle as possible. So you can see my X is at just about half an inch, and so is my Y, but I can probably get it a little bit closer to where I want it. So over a bit and almost there. All right, ideally these would both read exactly half an inch, but for today's purpose we're just going to go ahead and put our point right there. So we can say that that is approximately the middle point of our square. All right, we'll select OK. And then we're going to go ahead and finish our sketch. All right. Oops, sorry. Now that we are back in our three-dimensional view, we're going to use a new function. This is the loft function, which can be found up here. And basically, just like a loft bed is risen up off of the ground, uh, this is the same thing we're going to do here. We're going to loft the sides of the pyramid to the top portion or to that point right there. So we'll select it in our sketch and then we're going to select what we want to loft up each of those lines at the base and can click OK. And now I have my prism shape or my pyramid shape and I can turn off visibility on each of these different sketches and you can see that I now have a pyramid. So that's how you can make a pyramid shape an inventor using the loft tool. Hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in class. Bye.